Okay, so, Vern's boys are gonna drive the car in. They're gonna put the crates of guns... Hands off me. Grandpa, you gotta relax. They're gonna put the guns right here. When they are done, they're gonna leave. Then Tweedledee and Tweedledum can load them up into your little clown car. And you're the first one I'm gonna take down if this goes south, big lad. It's probably a good idea, Grandpa. I reckon. Oops. Oh, sorry, you just... You're... molting. Hmm. That's a, I like that movie. Who directed that movie? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great English director named Ben Wheatley. He, I, he did a really good job with the movie. No, he's, but he does a great job with every movie. That's the thing. He, I don't know about that. I'm not going to vouch for that, but... Right, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah, he, but go on, go on. Go on. I, I will let you say it. But, he, but the movie, I mean, it sounds like a crazy thing, but it seems like, yeah. and correct me if I have any of this wrong, the last, like, what, two-thirds of the movie is a shootout. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah a shootout much. would but typically last, like, maybe three or four minutes. Yeah, totally, totally, in a normal movie. In but we're not dealing movie. with a normal movie here. No. This is, like, uh, it's it's so much fun. It, the entire thing takes place in one warehouse, and, and the way Ben, the director, puts it, he says, this movie is about the largest caper and a huge heist movie, but unfortunately, all of the characters in it are complete idiots, so they never get past the first scene, which is the gun deal. You have to start at the gun deal, and right. then you got the guns, and then you go do your thing. <laughs> They're such incompetent idiots, they can't even get past that. So it's like this, it's like a fun kind of like, but it's super realistic where, you know, I mean, it's, it, it's, 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 it's a lot. very well everybody's, done. Everybody's gonna get something out of it. It's a is lot it, of fun. As an actor, is shooting in a warehouse for the whole movie something you like? Has it become like a regular job where you're going to the same work every day, or is it like, oh, I wish we could move around? I don't think it'll ever quite feel like a cubicle when they're giving you, like, automatic weapons and blanks in the beginning and be like, okay, now you can just kind of shoot at everybody. You know, that's, right. that's pretty unique. But it, it, it's, it's... You would think that it would get claustrophobic, but the way that everything was mapped out, the way it all works out with characters going in different places, they, they create an entire world with this warehouse. I mean, Room did it with a single room, and we've got Brie Larson in it. Anyway, oh, yeah. So. It's like she's expanded. Exactly, she's moved yeah. up to a much larger space. Moving on up, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you enjoyed the video, hit subscribe. And if you don't click subscribe, this invisible hamster will die.